What's going on, you crazy hooligans? So, uh, today is opening day of duck season, and uh, right now I'm driving out to one of my ponds. We are gonna see if there's any ducks on it. I was gonna go duck hunting this morning. I didn't wake up early enough. I woke up about like right at shooting line, so I, was, I didn't want to be rushing out there or nothing. So. And we're supposed to get some rain this afternoon anyhow, so I didn't want to be out there in the rain. It's supposed to be raining right now, actually, but it's not, so we're going to go drive around this pond real quick and see if there's anything on it. Tomorrow we're getting a pretty strong north wind with a high of like 37, so it's going to be chilly. Hopefully it'll be pretty good. Hopefully we'll get some push of birds. I've been seeing a lot more birds here in the past week, so we'll see what happens. Uh, we're either gonna hunt this or a uh, another pond probably and take the boat out and it's about 30 minutes away so when everything else freezes up this pond's so big it doesn't freeze up really it, i've only seen it freeze up completely one time and it was like 10 degrees out so uh we're heading out here right now and uh we'll see you when we get there And this is what sucks. Not just the rain, but oops, that. Okay, the pond's down there. It's one of the biggest ponds around this area. And I got permission to it. I was one of the first people to get permission to it. And the guy basically told me, he's like, there ain't no ducks. They don't like it down there. And then I was like, okay. Came back to it about two years ago, two or three years ago. And uh, asked the guy again. He said the same thing, but I said, do you care if we still try to duck hunt it? And he said yes. For some reason last year, he decided to give other people permission to it. And it's kind of ruined it, because now there's a lot of pressure out here. I guess we'll go run down the road and check out some other ponds that's down there and see if there's any ducks around. If somebody gets permission, don't give somebody else permission because it's just too much for especially if it's not a huge piece of property and especially duck hunting because it's just one pond normally you ready boy true <laughs> Alrighty, so we are heading up to the same pond we killed those uh, woodies in last time. We'll see when we get there. Alrighty, guys, so welcome back to Fern Feather Outdoors. And me and Matt are out here this morning. I talked about that yesterday. And uh, we just got into some wood ducks. I ain't got my GoPro on, neither did Matt. <laughs> But uh, we're going to go round them up and see how many we got. They came in hunt, didn't they? We decoying them. <laughs> decoying wood ducks. Sorry. We're going to go pick them up now. Alrighty, guys. So we're back at the house. It's cold, so we're going to get inside. But here's the one duck we got. And uh, I didn't get much video because we got this duck. And uh, we started looking for the other ones. And we think what happened is that they dove on us and uh we couldn't find them because we know for sure we killed three and we only found the one so it is what it is but uh we're gonna do a little catch and cook and uh so stay tuned <music> Alrighty, guys so uh if you go back to my couple videos past uh we built this clam table, so I figured we'd go ahead and use it. So we got a trash can right here. Well, we're gonna clean up this pretty little bird and uh, pluck its feathers off. And I think this one we're actually gonna cook as a uh, whole breast piece if we can. And uh, we're gonna see what's been eaten too. So uh, just got it cleaned up, brought it in the house, and uh, basically all you're gonna do is just pluck the feathers off, cut the legs off, break the wings, and cut them off. And they cut the neck off and just make sure to get all the feathers off real good and you're about ready to go so we get the duck all prepped up and everything ready to go 
I've got mine sitting in some salt water to get some of the blood out of the meat. But uh, if y'all have any other suggestions on how to cook duck, then uh, make sure to let me know and we'll try it in the future. But uh, we're gonna let that sit for maybe like an hour or so and uh, gonna get this smoker heated up. Alrighty guys, so uh, right here, I'm just patting the duck dry, make sure to get it super dry, get all the blood and everything off of it and water and everything where we've been sitting in that salt water. And uh, I'm also cleaning up the rest of the feathers and stuff I didn't get off because there's just so many. Now, as you can see there, I uh, put in some slashes in the meat to make it a little crispier. And that's just some seasoning I used. Alrighty guys, so uh, as you can tell, it's a few days later since we cooked this duck and I uh, put it back in the oven. I smoked it for a couple of hours on a really low heat and uh, it wasn't temping right so uh, and I didn't have time to fully finish it so I stuck it in the back in the refrigerator that way it had that smokiness you know it was pretty good and uh, right now have it in the oven here Woo. butter but, uh, that's the wood duck have some onions in there and stuff so I'm just reheating it basically right now crisping up that skin some and then we're gonna try it out for you guys and see how it is what are you doing give me that So I got it cut up here, and there's the breast for the duck. I got a few pieces cut off here, and we're gonna try it. Um, I've had wood duck before. It's not bad. It's probably one of my actually. It's probably one of my more favorite ducks to eat. It's smoked, so it's gonna be a little bit more done than normal, you know. It's got a good smell to it. It is kind of a greasy meat I guess it's a really dark meat I don't know if y'all can see that but it's super dark meat and we got skin on there we're gonna try it too so just a little piece here it's actually really good actually <laughs> Um, what I did was smoked it with uh, pecan wood on about 200 for probably five hours. And the meat's not dried out one bit. Honestly, it didn't smell that great, so I was a little worried. I think it was a skin. But for that to be kind of like reheated up, that's really good. There is a little piece of like white meat in there on both sides. I don't know what that is. It's definitely a big difference there. We'll give that piece a go. Oh yeah. Well, it must be like the uh, duck tenderloin. No, it was really good. I would definitely recommend y'all trying this. If you have a smoker, I would try this. That was good. Maybe try a little onion with it. It's not gonna feed an army by any means, but let's give this uh, skin a go. Oh yeah, it's probably
perfect. Oh man. I normally do not like the skin. That's good. Oh yeah. That is great. Mm-hmm. Alrighty guys, so hope you enjoyed this video. This was the best duck I've probably ever cooked. Definitely recommend doing that. If you like this video, make sure to go check out my other videos and uh, make sure to subscribe. Hit that like button, it helps a whole lot. It allows me to make more videos like this and we'll see you on the next one. Holy cow girls, that was good. Y'all want to try a piece?